here you go. Here's the baby boy. This is the same fellow was here last night. Yeah, and his mama just went down the, the stairs. We got another one there. Come on, here you go. There, how's that? Come on, mama. Come on. Here. Come on up. Come on up. Here. Did you get it? Did you get it? You got it? Good. Here. Come here, teenager. There you go. You ready for one? Are you going to take it from me? Oh, big yawns. Here, come here. Look. Here. Are you going to have a drink? Here. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Here. Well, this is Monday night. I've got a few here. There you go. <laughs> that one won't come up. What did you do? Chase the baby down there? You big oaf. Here. Oh, that is the baby. <laughs> They're getting so big. A good time was had by all. <laughs> Wasn't it? Huh? You know, I was talking to Alan Roberts this morning. Alan's retired from IDENT for the Glasgow Police, and he was telling me he hasn't seen raccoons around for three days because he feeds them as well. So, here. You got it? Okay. You want another one? Here. Well, you found one. He's having a drink of fresh water. We just filled that up. And he's having water. Yeah, we just filled them up. Oh, have, have a real good drink. Yep. Yep. I tried to get a hold of Heather tonight because I was going to load up the, the tractor and go up and cut her grass for her because she, all she got is one of those little push mowers and she got a, a lawn the size of a football field. Here little fella, come here. Come here, law. Here, you get your own. Mama don't share. Mama won't share. No. I paid uh, two visits today. Come here. Here. Look. Come here. I paid two visits today to Jungle Gyms. I had breakfast and supper there. There you go. And yes, I know how to cook. It's just that uh, I was running the roads today and I just didn't have time. Which has been a common thing lately. We're going to release another hundred books tomorrow. Uh, we uh, we didn't. I don't know. If, I don't think we sold them all today. So it's slowing down, and we're almost out of them. And then I'm going to take a much needed rest when they're all sold. We got to get all them tracking numbers straightened out. They're still not straightened out yet. It was the uh, the program that we used to gather up the numbers from. Uh, Canada Post and Canada Post apparently did the tracking but I got tracking numbers there but it don't say who it's for or where it's going or nothing so I don't know how we're going to straighten that out unless uh, this program can be adjusted to go in and re-grab them again here there you go
Are you smacking? Are you smacking? Mama. That's Mama. Do you want another one? I gotta go to Walmart. I think I'll hit the hit there early in the morning. And get the hot dogs first thing because uh, I went up there yesterday and they had none left. All the chicken dogs were gone. Yep, and these fellas need the chicken dogs here. You want another one? There you go. You gonna have one for the baby? Poor baby. Here, I'll throw one at you and I gotta get two more packages. Yeah, here you go. I gotta get two more packages. Yep, we're, uh, I gotta get some more. Listen to them. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get some more. Just wait a just wait a minute. Mama's away. There's Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. And Connor's going into uh, the vets on August third, and we're gonna get those knots cut out. And I t uh, they won't let me in, but I told her that. Uh, it's easy to do it with him because he doesn't, like, he's very cooperative. He's got one under each arm and one on his left uh, rear rump. And that's all he's got. But they said if they have any issues with him, they're going to give him the lion cut. I don't want him to get the lion cut, but even though it's cooler for him, but... Oh well. I got it. Get some more hot dogs out here. One, two, there's three packages left. And that's it. That's it. Where did the fellas come from? No, there's none up in the cupboard. Not, not up in the freezer. So this is a, these are uh, beef hot dogs, these ones. And beef. They're beef, Connor. They're beef. Where's the beef? You're going to the vet on August 3rd. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're going to get a haircut. We're just going to... Because if I go in with them, uh, they'll, uh, if I hold them, they, they can cut them off, those knots off very easy. Uh, here we come. You ready? You ready? Here we are. The baby gone. What are you doing? Waiting for me, are you? You're waiting for me? Well, just a minute. Just a minute. I'm going to sit down. All right. <clears throat> What you doing? What have I got? What is it? What? There you go. I just put it right in his mouth. Here. <laughs> the baby left. He left with his mother. So we just got two here. And Buddy was here last night just for a short little stint. He didn't stick around long. And he didn't look skinny, so he must be eating in the woods. Yeah. And this is the time that they're training the kids how to hunt. <laughs> He's washing it. I don't blame you. I'd wash it too. Yep.
I think your belly's full. I think. He's doing the same thing. Yeah. Two of them are washing the hot dogs. There's no mosquitoes out tonight. And the temperature is 20. They nailed me in the rear end last night. Right through the swing. You leaving? Yeah. Yeah, they heard something. They're up they go, running. They heard something. Yes, they heard something. Of course, I haven't got the hearing aids in. I can't hear them. Whatever it was. <coughs> There's enough. I'll just scatter these around. There's enough dry food out there. And they'll finish these off. And I'm off to bed. I don't get to have normal hours like the other people. I'm on raccoon time. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to call her a night and, uh, There. We're going to call her a night and I'll see you when I got my Jeep jacket on. <clears throat> we'll see you tomorrow night. Maybe we'll get lucky and have some babies. Tomorrow night be Tuesday night. That's the night the Kimber travels from uh, Madison up to uh, Hayward from her grandmother's. And uh, I was just talking to her now and they're having a big storm in Hayward. High winds and hail and so, anyway, people, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye, guys.